Sheldon! No, 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 no! Get out! Get them out! Oh, but we came to visit you! Don't worry about him, miss. We'll take care of him. Yeah, someone's just a little grumpy. Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe I should stay. Help me. Uh... Sheldon! So good to see you. How's the recovery going? I don't know, Edson. How do you think the recovery is going? I don't know. That's why I asked. Well, you should know how it's going, considering that you're the one that broke my legs. <gasps> I didn't break your legs. Libel! When it's spoken, it's slander. But it's not slander. You actually broke my legs. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, everybody. Let's just take it calmly from the top like good friends should, okay? Fine. So yesterday... No, no. Start from last week. And why would I do that? You broke your legs yesterday. This whole thing started last week and you know it. Fine. Last week we were all at the museum in yet another vain attempt to bring some joy to your melancholic existence. I don't know, Edison. We took him to the planetarium last month and he didn't even crack a smile. How's the museum going to be any different? I tell you, Aggie, it's foolproof. Even the most extreme of grumps can't help but have fun at a natural history museum. They're the height of entertainment. Yeah, Sheriff, you say so. Oh, oh, Sheldon! Sheldon? Sheldon! 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 Sheldon, it's so good to see you. Glad you could make it, friend. Well, the Wi-Fi's out at the house, so it's not like I had something better to do. All right, are you ready for a fun educational adventure through 4.5 billion years of Earth's history? That's right you are! Now where should we begin? At the beginning makes the most sense. Oh, but nothing fun really happens until the Cambrian era. Well, if you want fun, you want dinosaurs. Overrated. Mammals are where it's at. What about the Ice Age? Evolution of humans? Reptile house! The Rock Cycle! Aquarium exhibit! Oh, we've gotta go to the gift shop! Thank goodness we found you. We thought you dished us like last time. Or the time before that. Or the time before that. <sighs> hmm. We're glad we found you, though. What you looking at? The floozle bird. The floozy what? The floozle bird. It was native around these parts, you know. Yeah, before it went extinct. How did that happen? Hunting, mostly. Real shame. You know, it was a town bird before they all died out. That's weird. How come I've never heard about it or seen any pictures? No one cares about town history. Sheldon! What? You see, Aggie, it doesn't exactly photograph well. The flashes frighten them and make them aggressive. Long story short, not too many are eager to try and take pictures. I saw this in the zoo once when I was young. The last of its kind. Shame. Shame. Terrible shame. Yeah? Would have been cool to see it in the wild, though. Would seeing it in the wild make you... happy? I mean, it's extinct, so... Answer the question. Fine! Yes, okay? It would have made me happy. Now will you stop being creepy? The point is, they're all dead, so you can stop being hypothetical. And creepy! God, you're so creepy! Why are we even friends? We love you too, Sheldon! He admitted we were friends! He admitted more than that. He gave us an idea, didn't he? He did! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so! Friends? 
We are gathered here today for one purpose, making our friend happy. By reverse engineering a foozle bird from the genetics of a common chicken. Step one is securing the bird, which we could have done already had someone followed instructions. You should have been more specific. What? What in tarnation happened to my chickens? So where are we going? Shh, 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 shh. It's a surprise. Now we should probably tell you there was some complications with the process. My kidnapping? No, silly, your present! It's not perfect, but I think you're gonna like it! Now I'm sure you remember our trip to the museum last week. It is hard to forget trauma. And do you remember how you said you wanted to see a floozle bird out in the wild? I swear to high heaven, if you two brought me out here to look at a taxidermy bird, I'm going to- Wait, wait, that's not it, I swear! Yes. We did one better, in fact. Behold! How did you- Oh, a little this, a little that. A little adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, and uh, voila. We worked really hard on it. It's not an exact replica. Chicken DNA is pretty hard to work with, but it's pretty close, don't you think? It's beautiful. Oh, he's smiling! Quick, take a picture! On the count of three, everyone. One, two, three. You look so happy! I do, don't I? You really should smile more often. I mean... <laughs> Edison? You used the flash when you took the picture, didn't you? Uh, well, uh, maybe. <sighs> Everybody run for your- We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a breaking news bulletin. Complete chaos erupted this morning in the town of Epo. The long-thought extinct floozle bird seems to have returned with a vengeance. Reports of the bird rampaging through the once idyllic town square have been pouring in. At the moment, we are uninformed about what could have caused a sudden resurgence. Though our best guesses are the fury of Mother Nature or science going too far. Back to you, Alex. Oh man, we made the news again! Why would you drive into town? Why would you lead them into town? Where was I supposed to go? Deeper into the forest? Into its natural habitat? Where it have the home field advantage? It's 50 feet tall. It's always going to have the advantage. How could you screw up this badly? Well, excuse me, Mr. Judgment. Maybe genetic engineering isn't as easy as you think it is. It's more art than science, you know. It's literally science. You are so irresponsible. Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah, you can do it. But did you ever think if you should? Cry me a river, Sheldon. We did this for you. Guys, I on the road! Ah! <laughs> Oh, my dad's gonna kill me. Not if I... <laughs> do it first. Stop fighting and run! So, after the car was destroyed, everything just evolved into chaos. We were running for our lives, we were screaming, Sheldon was complaining as always, and in the midst of some complaint he had, he proceeded to trip. And in the chaos of it all, and my adrenaline on high, I just couldn't bring myself to stop and help him. Though I did consider it. 
Then after he fell, I looked back for a second and... <sighs> hmm. I think I'm starting to realize how this might be my fault. Come again? <laughs> you know, my memory's getting kind of foggy. Let's just stop here, shall we? Finish the story, Edison. But really, I... Finish the story! Oh, I know what happened next. Can I tell it? I would really rather we... Yes. Then the police showed up. Ah! Help! Please help! Ah! The Academy ah! did not prepare me ah! for this. Help! Is no one going to help, seriously? Sir, sir, you'll have to calm down. The situation is under control. Under control? Does this look under control to you? It broke my legs. It's going to eat me. No one would eat you. You're too bitter. Oh, <coughs> you, Edison. Language! There is a child. Sir, I'm going to need you to refrain yourself from communicating with the hostages. We don't know if that's allowed yet. Allowed? That is my friend. No, I'm not. I was talking about the bird. Sir, how do you know this foul? No, it- I created it. I spent days slaving over a test tube, and someone isn't very grateful! Broken legs. What do you mean you created it? Exactly what I said. I took the DNA of a chicken and reverse engineered it into that. And I helped. I'm- I'm sorry. You did what? Who issued you a permit for that? What vendor sold you the chicken for those purposes? <laughs> sold? Borrowed? I don't know why we're discussing this when there's a civilian in danger right over there. Is this where my tax dollars are going? You're in the 10th grade. What? Is this where my father's tax dollars are going? Sir, after this is taken care of, I think you'll have to come down with me to the station. I don't think that's necessary. Edison? Edison, why does she look mad? Did we break a rule? A law rule? Edison, I can't have a record yet, I'm 11! Gee, gee, are you there? What's the report? We've got a clear shot to neutralize the target. Can you take it out without harm to the hostage? Probably. Take it. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, take it out? I'm taking it to a nice dinner. What do you think I mean? I bring a species back from over a decade of extinction, and your first instinct is to wipe it out all over again? Now what kind of logic is that? Kid, I'm not listening to any more of this. Well, fine. But if you're going to kill it, at least let me be the one to do it. I brought it into this world. It's only fitting I always yell at the thing. And I'll help! <laughs> Neither of you are equipped to handle this situation. Oh, please, like this is the first time we've done this. When would you have done this before? Everyone knows how to shoot a bird. Duck season starts in a week. No, rabbit season starts in a week. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's duck season. Well, I'm pretty sure I know more about the laws in this town than some 10th grader. And it's rabbit season. It's duck season, you blue uniform buffoon! And this part of the story kind of takes a while, so I'm just going to fast forward to the end. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. Duck season. That didn't work the first eight times you tried it. Why would it work now? I didn't give the signal. <laughs> My legs. My bird. Why, fate? Why? Move out of the road. So after animal control came and finally took care of the problem, Sheldon got brought to the hospital screaming a bunch of words I'm not allowed to repeat, the giant birdie got plucked and donated to local food banks, and my case with Edison got settled out of court. So it was a happy ending for everyone! Except for Edison, he's still pretty upset about the bird. <laughs> I was going to enter it into the science fair. <laughs> it would have won! Let it go, buddy. Did either of you learn anything from this? Hmm. Oh, that we should take better care of our environment, because once something goes extinct, you can never really get it back. No matter how much you manipulate a chicken's DNA, the situation just is not going to pan out. Edison? <laughs> Don't play God. <laughs> Good. Now get out of my room. Get out, 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 get out. We're leaving.
get well soon, friend. See you at school.